Hello everybody and welcome back to Kovo Swim Your Home Work Today. We are heading up and then back down to Ansea, which is which has really fucking weird name and I spent like a half a minute trying to remember and figure out how the fuck to pronounce that name. Because I think that Game Slings named that moon like it just got a keyboard and smashed it with his head. And he was like Pretty fucking good mate. Stick it on there because nobody gives a shit. And I am here trying to pronounce that thing with my English, which is far out from the fucking perfect in perfect room. I'm trying to say that my English isn't perfect. I can't explain shit. I can't talk I can't talk. In general, that's it. I can't talk. That's fucking bullshit, but yeah. I did a pretty fucking bad job of making that gravity turn and I realized it after I was like way up in stairs I was like oh shit I had to turn yeah well no at least the first day was there like got you homie we have a lot more fucking delta V let's give me that juice and we're fucking gonna go so I was like get the juice shove it up your ass and we're going and he was like good mate we're going I don't know what they just said there. I was trying to explain that the first stage had a lot of Delta V. If it didn't get the fucking joke... You might be fucking okay. I'm just a here that's a fucking schizophrenic probably. And a fucking psychopath. We're not gonna talk about this here. We're gonna talk about my awful fucking maneuver not making because that was one of the things that got fucking terrible with this mission. And I had to figure out like a million years how to get there properly but the, with the magic of video editing we say goodbye to Roth and we're gonna already say hi to Gateway because fuck all the money we're not making is boring as shit and fuck all the traveling speed because it is boring as shit so we're already at Gateway we're already at Gateway going towards our periapsis and trying to slow ourselves down. Now, again, the third stage is a Rhino engine, as most of you didn't figure out because I'm an unpredictable I'm an unpredictable person, am I? No, that's not true. I'm just trying to make shit up. So we're already at Ansea. I'm having big time trouble remembering this the name of this moon. Again. It's a moon named after a keyboard smash in the head. So yeah, we're already at Ansea and we're gonna circularize around it with our third stage which has the engine that I remember I used last time that I used was like in 2015 or something. I used to love the fucking this engine because first of all, I mean in that time it was kind of broken. It, I don't know if it changed the uh, thrusts or efficiency of the engines, but that engine was efficient as fuck, and it was also kind of powerful. So I was having a good time with it when it first started in Carbo Speed, and then I discovered about discovered the Rhino engine and the other good engines, and I discovered better PCI hardware. Because the PC that I was playing on had like a single core Ryzen something something Athlon something something shit something and a GPU that is as old as my grandma granddad's sister's granddad. So yeah. I can say that's pretty pretty fucking old. Which resulted in terrible fucking Kerbal Space Program uh, frames per second. In the minimum fucking graphics, like, it took me about half an hour to get to orbit with that PC. And at that time, I was like, okay, I'm having a good time because I'm playing the dream of my game because it took quite a long time to figure out how to play this game. I just kind of watched videos of it. 
but I never could have played it. And then finally when I got to play it, I played it at terrible, terrible, terrible two fucking frame, frames per second with stock crafts. God damn, that was all time ago. But yeah, we're already down at Ansea and we're gonna get some signs. Yeah, so I was talking about that. I discovered better PC hardware. My laptop, which has an Intel Pentium and something something. Wait, it has an. Uh, where does it say it? N5700 or 3700. I can't read, it's so fucking small. But yeah. Yeah, it's literally right under the fucking camera because I used it as a secondary monitor. Which was good at playing Carbal Space Rhyme. I had finally good, good uh, things to do. Uh, I could play the I could play the game on at least twenty five to thirty frames per second with decently sized crafts. And I discovered modding. I installed EV, scatterer, and stock visual enhancements. What I did to my PC was, or rather laptop, was complete fucking terrible bullshit. I pause here for no reason. Probably. I don't know why I did there. I don't know why I didn't cut it. I probably didn't see it because I'm a fucking blind person. I started to get up to those green mountains and I failed terribly to find out that this was not a fucking mountain, this was basically the ridges. But yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck up. So yeah. And then time passed on, I uninstalled the mods because... Wait, some of you probably should even remember when I had these mods on. Because, holy shit, this channel has been around for three fucking years and... I spent like... F four, five years... Basically five years playing Kerbal Spin on a laptop and a year playing Kerbal Spin on a terrible fucking computer which is now still in the other room which kind of works it crashes from time to time but we're not gonna talk about that because it's fucking uninteresting and then I bought this baby here beautiful thing, beautiful thing, beautiful thing really powerful PC it has its fucking drawbacks, not gonna lie it's bottlenecked, but but yeah, it's still I can still play Kerbal Space Program at maximum settings with decently sized parts, uh, part count rockets, and visual modes at 50 to 60 FPS, which is fucking perfect. It's not perfect when you have like a craft that's like fucking 400 parts and you're like yeah 15 fps like 20 fps there for she yeah i mean that's far from perfect but yeah i'm not gonna complain about that too much i went to the green parts i went to the green parts green mountains and i tried to take a, sur take a surface sample but then i figured it was a motherfucking ridge again so yeah gateway in the background we are already ascending I had way more than enough fuel in this lander stage. This should have been just landing and then scrap it off and leave it on the surface. But I was like, extra juice, extra full fuel, extra fucking cum. That's not gonna bother me too much. We are going back home, baby. And I was like, I have way more than fuel. That, we have way more fuel than I need. So visiting the space station, the size space station it is, because times are beautiful, times are good, times are amazing. I want the extra science. Even though I completed the entire tech tree, I was like, give me the science, because as you might know or not know, the science that leaves, the science that you get uh, after unlocking the entire tech tree, is your score in Carbos Plus program. So there, there could be some fucking maniacs that have been playing science mode for eternity and they have like a bazillion fucking science that they don't know what to do with. Prost to them. And here I am. Started to play science like what the fucking... 
four months ago, maybe something, something. I don't fucking know. On a different fucking solar system, and I'm here trying to get as much science as fast as fast as possible. And currently, the fastest way to get science is with the space station research that I did. At least that's how I discovered it. I have very big plans for later on. I'm late to this shit. First of all, it's fucking... June 19th today. But you're probably gonna see this video like three weeks later. Kind of, probably. I don't know, I can't remember. I have a member of a goldfish. Regarding that... We got the very, very, very sad news of Kerbal Space Program 1.12 being the last update ever. And Kerbal Space Program 1, Kerbal Space Program 2, Kerbal Space Program 1, developers are gonna go to Kerbal Space Program 2, hopefully making an amazing fucking game that comes quick, relatively quick. I don't want like cyberpunk shit. I don't want it to be delayed like cyberpunk. I don't want it to be bugged like cyberpunk. I just don't want to have a shit time. I want to have good times with Kerbal Space 2. And even though I'm trying to keep myself out from it, I'm like ex fucking extremely hyped, which is not good because I know if I overhype myself some fucking day, I'm gonna get fucking disappointed. But I hope that's not gonna be soon, so yeah, dumping all the science in the space station and leaving it because if I try to research it, it just fucking disables everything. So I was like, yeah, sure, leave the space station, we're going to our end of, the, end of our journey and re-entering Rhodes' atmosphere. So we have this red heat shield. I mean, I usually put like black ones because edge my dude, and they look way cooler. But this time I was like, yeah, let's go with the orangey reddish thing because why the fuck not? It's so cool. It's cool looking. The stock ones also look cool. The stock color. Obviously, I have restock installed, which makes crafts uh, stock parts look first of all better. Second of all. It eliminates the gaps between the things, like things snap together better because I think that the people that make restock know what the fuck they're doing in stock uh, and well squad is over there and not knowing that parts have to fit each other, fit each other. They're fucking terrible at that. But yeah, I did the fast motion uh, time warp and crashed into the surface of the planet killing all two carbonauts which was a tragedy so a minute a minute of silence let's see it no we're not gonna do it because i need those viewer attention rate and that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed if you did punch the button after that punch the button if you're new and as always i hope to see you next week until then have an awesome week i ran out of breath